Turn to Athens today, an insight into how Afghanistan is on the way back to the Olympic fold. An IOC delegation has been in the Afghani capital, Kabul, to evaluate progress being made in the promotion of Olympic sport, particularly amongst women. Recently, Afghan women put on a display of sports training, ranging from judo and basketball to gymnastics. Afghanistan is currently suspended from the Olympic movement. The suspension came after the rise of the Taliban regime. The first hurdle for Afghanistan is to produce qualified coaches. Among those helping in Kabul is Stig Travik, deputy head of the Norwegian embassy in the city, but more importantly a keen judo instructor. Um. Today we're having uh, an exhibition on the, the occasion of the visit of the International Olympic Committee um, to show that Afghan sport is now uh, ready to rejoin international sports. As you know, because of uh, events during the Taliban era, uh, Afghanistan was suspended from the International Olympic Committee. And now uh, we're in uh, the process of rejoining the international family. The kids you see here are from a local orphanage. They're part of a pilot project to train Afghan coaches. So the main part of the project you cannot see here. The main part is training of Afghan trainers for, uh, for judo. While the judo training continues, time for a games quiz question. The sport of women's basketball became part of the modern Olympics at which games? Was it A, Barcelona, B, Melbourne, or was it C, Montreal? The answer at the Montreal Games in 1976. So after years of repression, the women of Afghanistan are showing a renewed interest in sport. I am quite fond of sports and I always wanted to be able to achieve something remarkable as a sportswoman. While the athletes of the future continue their work, we'll take a moment to look at our Olympic scroll for details on basketball. Basketball is to be held at the Heleniko complex with plenty of time to catch some of the action. Tickets are from 15 to 300 euros. Under the Taliban, such sporting displays as this by women would have been illegal. Because of the Taliban's restrictive policies, which forced men to grow beards and wear long trousers, and women to cover themselves from head to toe, more of the country's most promising athletes in such sports as gymnastics, wrestling and boxing left the country. But since the end of the war, women have rediscovered their confidence and are taking part in sporting activities in increasing numbers. We are here in order to analyse the situation, to see the reality of the Olympic movement, the development of the sports for women, the real structure of the sport in the country, and this in order to prepare a report for the International Olympic Committee. Now things have changed so much that Afghanistan could well be allowed to send a team to the Olympics in Athens next year. While their athletes are unlikely to make a big impact at the Games, just being there would be a huge boost to women's sport back home. Uh, well, I'm sure that if the sanction, the sanction is lift, that I'm very confident on that, I'm absolutely sure that the Afghanistan will be, pres will be present in the Olympic Games in Athens next year. Join me again next time for another Return to Athens.